Hello Android gamers, great news. Today I'm going to show you how to play multiplayer with Half-Life on Android. If you haven't heard, there's a great PC port of Half-Life for Android. Check out my full instructional video here. It'll be in the video description. You need to do this first before following the steps in this video to enable the multiplayer support and play over the LAN. Now you may have noticed if you've got this installed already that you can't play multiplayer, it's grayed out, and you also can't find the console. Well there's a simple way to fix this for Half-Life, and in addition we're going to show you how to fix the multiplayer support for other games as well. Now this won't let us play on the internet, but we can play LAN games, and I've got some great footage I'm going to show you of me and my buddy kind of testing it out. It was quite a lot of fun. So assuming you followed the instructions in this video here, we're going to show you how to fix the console and add multiplayer support for Half-Life 1, then we're going to show you how to add it into the mods. First off, look in the video's description and go back to the GitHub page for the Xash app. Now you may have already downloaded and installed the extras, but you have to put the extras onto the Android device after you place the Valve folder. This is some sort of glitch, and this will fix the support. So download the extra zip, place it on your desktop, and extract the files. Next up, plug your Android device into the PC and open it up. I'm using my Note 2, the game data is in the internal storage. Open up the XASH folder, and here we have the Valve folder which contains the Half-Life data. Put that to one side, get your extra zip opened up here. Now the extra zip contains a Valve folder too. Now this is just a bunch of fixes for the menus and that, but it also fixed the multiplayer support. So copy the files here and paste it into the XASH folder here and you'll need to replace the containing folders and merge the files. When this is complete, we'll be able to launch up the app and use both console and multiplayer support for Half-Life 1. I'm going to show you a nice gameplay demo, so stay tuned for that. You can also download the extras folder right to the Android device. Here I am downloading it. It'll go to the download folder by default, and you'll need a file explorer to locate it. I recommend getting the free ES File Explorer. It'll take care of everything we need in today's video. Open it up, locate the download folder, locate the extra zip, hold down on that, select the three dots for more, and go Extract to. Choose the path. We're going to scroll down to our XASH folder and select it. Press OK to confirm. Press OK and confirm the path, and we'll extract the files. Once complete, you're ready to play the game. Now this fixes the problem for Half-Life 1, but for other multiplayer mods you may also be missing multiplayer support, so we're going to show you how to fix that as well. Now you may need a File Explorer program, I recommend the ES File Explorer because it's free and comes with everything you'll need to do this. So install that if you don't have a File Explorer and open it up and allow us to look at our Android device. Now I'm going from my Note 2 and I'm going to locate the XASH folder in the internal memory. Here it is. Now I'm going to modify the game uplink which wasn't working for multiplayer. To do this we need to open up the game info text. There's a note editor that comes with the ES Explorer. Just open that up, hit the three dots, go to edit, and we'll be able to edit the document. Now there's a line that says game mode, single player only. We want to completely remove this line from the text and then save it like this. This will enable the multiplayer support as it's not officially supported and we'll need this to get it working. Now that's done. When we launch the application again, we'll see that multiplayer support is no longer grayed out and we can play. Please subscribe to see the latest information and updates with XASH 3D. And now I'm going to give you a little gameplay demo. Thanks for watching, everybody.